And we begin with breaking news. 28 students are safe now after a Durham public school bus burst into flames. Firefighters got the call around 2 this afternoon near American and White Pine Drive. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis joins us live. Mariah, this certainly sounds scary. You've been able to speak to the crew and neighbors. Hey guys, when we first got out here, you could just smell the smoke in that air and just see this significant amount of damage on this bus. And fortunately, firefighters say all 28 students that were on that bus, including the bus driver, are safe. Now, firefighters did share some photos earlier when they got there, pretty much showing the bus fully engulfed when they arrived. A transportation director with the school district tells us the driver first noticed smoke coming from the hood of the bus and then decided quickly to pull over to get the kids out and to safety. Durham firefighters arrived in not long after and were able to get those flames out in about 15 minutes, so pretty quickly. And Durham Public Schools tells us all students were accounted for. We've actually been talking to the neighbors here in the area who say they heard some type of loud explosion that first caught their attention. I heard what I thought was a kind of a small explosion, a boom, you know, like a boom. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, wow, you know, what was that? And then just a few minutes later, I heard the fire trucks come down American Drive. So I was just very thankful that the kids and the driver got out safe. And, uh, you know, he's, he's a hero or she's a hero, whoever, whoever the driver was. Yeah, that's something that Durham Public Schools, as well as the Durham firefighters, really reiterated, really calling this bus driver a hero today. And we did speak with the division chief who says that he believes the cause of this fire may have been due to a mechanical issue on the bus. However, that's still being investigated. But what I can tell you is a lot of people out in this neighborhood are very fortunate that no one was injured today. And Dora Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. Yeah, I'm sure everyone very grateful for that. Thank you, Mariah.